All right, let's do this. Hey guys, it's Angie. Today I'm at my desk. I wanted to give you some insight into how I back up my really large 4K video files. So starting off, I'm a little bit of background. One part, one aspect of my job as a UX specialist is to create videos for our channel. And so that's kind of why I haven't been able to spend so much time here. I'm still learning and figuring out these techniques over at our main channel. Anyways, um, I travel a lot for work and we film those videos in 4K and I cannot for the life of me figure out an automatic backup system um, to the cloud and I tried uh, OneDrive, Google Drive, um, what's the other one? Oh, Crash Plan. So I paid for a subscription, tried Crash Plan and turns out I would bring my files, I, what I do used to do is to film them on your basic SD cards and then come home or transfer them to an external drive and then once I was ready to back those up it would take days. The prediction like that progress bar indication would say nine days until I could finish and complete that backup and you know what I'm going on the next trip before I have to leave for my next trip before that could back up. So now I figured out a system that I think is going to work pretty well. It's it's manual and it's using physical drives, but um, at least I have a copy and I can feel secure that I have a few different instances in case something happens. And you're going to get in situations sometimes where you might have to reformat and you might have to replace an external drive. So having a few different places like that will help. And that's kind of why I looked at having a RAID system. Now RAID, if you're not familiar, that's uh, an automatic like redundancy. And so you, I have a four gigabyte RAID, four terabyte RAID, sorry. And so if you were to purchase this four terabyte RAID and you said, I want RAID zero, you get four terabytes of external drive storage. What I want instead is to, when I bring and move my files over to this RAID drive, to have a redundancy, to have a copy. And so that means if it's going to automatically do that, and that's what RAIDs do, uh, then I have to cut that size to half. So now I have two terabytes of RAID storage, okay? So uh, walking through the process of how I go on a trip and film and do my A roll, my B roll, and how I save that into my system and have that copy into the RAID is like this. So first, I film as you would on a, on a uh, regular SD card. And I have to manually keep track of these, of course, and I, I wanted to know where these drive SD cards were going. So I made this little chart, and I thought that was useful to share. Is that the right side? Let me see. Come on, come on, focus, 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 focus. Yes, there we go. Okay, so basically what I've done is I just printed, did this up in like a, a Google, Google spreadsheet and printed it out. And it tells me what the SD card is, the type it is, because there's only certain cards that are really going to support um, support 4K. And the camera that I'm filming on right now is a 1080p camera. So I can film on those other SD cards that don't support it. And that's kind of like I have the size, the type, and the purpose. So I can mentally keep track of what these cards are for and if I need to invest in another one if it's worth it. Okay, so that's what I do. This case is really nice. I got it from Amazon. I can leave a link down below. But basically, it's just, it was eight bucks or so. And you can pop in these cards and make sure that they feel safe and secure while you're traveling. And so the first thing is that you film on these and you want to have enough SD card storage so that you don't have to clean the card. I've been on many trips where I've had to clean like daily and that is not something that you want to do especially when you have a bunch of other activities going on. You may be a one-man show, one-woman show and keeping track of all these things and making sure that you back them up properly while on a trip and while on the job is already like so hectic. So it's going to save you, if anything, keep you sane if you have enough cards to contain that. So that's what I do. I, um, and then once I 
get back to my home station, whether that's in the hotel room, if I'm traveling, then I'm going to copy them to an external drive. I travel with two external drives. I'm going to copy the SD card, like all of the footage, the video, to the external drive, and then do it again to a second external drive. And what that does is I have two copies while traveling. So if something happens to one, I've already got the backup, and I still have it on the main card. I haven't cleared it there. So that's three copies while on the road. Well, I know, like, but I can't stress to you enough, I can't stress enough how many times that I freaked out, I was like, somebody needs to borrow an SD card, um, I have to clear it, did I copy it, is it this, is it that? And so this is like a life savior to have two, two things, and these are getting so cheap. You can get a terabyte for like 50 bucks. Uh, so that's something you really should invest in if this is uh, a passion of yours and footage if you're putting a lot of time you're traveling to get to the site for footage then it's totally worth it so when I go home I already have two copies what I can then do is cop transfer the one of the drives remember these two drives are exactly the same at this point I can move that drive to my RAID system and that to me is like comforting then I can clear everything off once it's on the RAID and I can unplug and make sure that it's there, it's secure, then I can clear my external drives, I can clear my SD cards, and then be good to go. What's going to happen uh, eventually, like this system is going to work until those, that RAID system fills up. And so I'm either going to have to optimize and like look at what footage I have, are there things that I really don't need, like outtakes, um, or what can I move off-site, put it, and spend the time to put into a cloud system. So eventually, I'm either going to have to replace it or buy um, another RAID system or uh, spend the time to put it to cloud. But I've tried it all. I've tried, I've, I might have mentioned this to you already. I've tried OneDrive. I've tried Google Drive. I've tried um, CrashPlan. And now these are just really, really slow. So if you know that you're not going to go and be on a job for a while, you could end up like setting that and go about your day and see if you can move a file or two at a time just to clear up the RAID system. Okay, I really hope that this helped you. I was like so stressed trying to figure all of this out. I, um, I'll be available in the comments section if you have any questions about what I'm doing and maybe like all the video stuff. But I really appreciate your time and I thank you. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.